All right. It's Kelly Snow. Okay. I took a box. I'm sorry, I'm eating chocolate chips. <laughs> okay. This is a dog biscuit box, you know, the big, huge one I got from Costco. Look how big the spine's going to be. It's like four inches. <laughs> so it's huge. And um, I just took my glue stick. I scrubbed it all over, and, you know, this is um vintage flower sack. And I just laid it on there, you know, not necessarily to glue it down, but just to hold it so I can work with it before, you know, because I sold the edge. So, I mean, it's good. You know, it's got stuff on it and black things on it and, you know, stuff, but it's okay for a journal because, you know, we cover it all up anyway. You know, so it's okay. I mean, it's got things around, you know, but it's cool. It's an old, you know, flower sack. So, that's all I did. Just glue stick and lay it on. You know, flatten it out. And, you know, cut it off. And, and then I took white thread and sewed around all the edge. But so I make sure the needle goes in the cardboard. Then on the side and the cardboard on the side and the cardboard on the side. I'm using zigzag because I want that finished edge, you know, right here. It's nice. It kind of tucks all the fabric in there and kind of gets it all nice. Okay. All right. I got five signatures because it's going to be so big. So I do this. You don't have to do this. If you're all nice and tidy, you know, and your signatures are all pretty and everything's all perfect, you know, go ahead. But, you know, this is the kind of crap I deal with, so I can't. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't, you know, I got to have some kind of line. Because when I'm going like this, and I don't, oh, you know, so I just, I don't know. I got to have something. And so, holy crap, what did I do? This must be two. Because this is too big. This must be two. I'm known for fat signatures, but what the heck is going on? Okay. Where? That is two. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, four inches, you got to divide it in five because, you know, I got five signatures. And then I just mark it out and do the line. So, I just use a tack. I don't know what everybody has to go get all these tools for when it's completely fine. And, you know, you don't have to measure anything. It's all going to be covered up anyway. I don't know what the big hype is, but whatever, you know, however you want to do it. But, um... I mean, some people like to fuss, you know, with everything and make it all, you know, fussy. But you really don't have to, seriously. You just poke the holes through. You don't have to, you don't have to get tools out and, you know, go look for whatever and measure and do all this. You really don't, actually, but I don't know. Now oh, I got stuff on there. But I notice when people do videos about signatures, they like to talk a lot. <laughs> and make it all complicated, you know, make you, oh my God, when I first started and I wanted to know how to sew in signatures, I had to watch, I don't know how many videos and I avoided the subject, <laughs> you know, I did three ring binders and I did, you know, just whatever I could do, sewing them in regular with my sewing machine so that I didn't have to do this because they just made it look so complicated. I just didn't know what I was going to do. And so anyways, I'm just making three holes. One at the top, one in the middle, and one in the bottom. I'm leaving, I don't know, half an inch right here. Then I make a hole. And, you know, I probably didn't even get this in the middle, but like I said, it's not the end of the world because... It's all covered up anyway. So, you know, unless you're going to do a fancy stitch where all your stitches are going to show and you're going to show off your sewing, which I haven't graduated to that level yet. Although sometimes when I do a good job, it's like, dang, I want to let my seam show, you know. <laughs> but 
But I always end up covering it up because, you know, I like to, I like to, we like to decorate the spine, you know what I mean? So, so, and then there's a hidden spine too. Now I've not done that yet and I don't really know what the point is. I can't quite figure out what the point of it is. <laughs> I really don't get it because I really don't, but anyways everybody's doing them i don't know i have to figure it out in my mind what the heck is that for <laughs> you know what i mean i don't quite get it but you sew your signatures into some fabric first and then you glue it on the spine i guess i really don't know why or i, I really don't get it unless you have some kind of problem so i'm just going back through the holes and making sure they're like you know open and not clogged with anything or whatever you know what i'm saying okay so now i got all my holes okay and um so now you know you just grab it and do it now here's the scary part oh i hate signatures i've always hated it but the more i do it the better i get it i forgot to get my needles ready and everything Psh, sorry but oh well. Uh, I was all ready, of course. You should have seen the first video I tried to do. My cover was too big. <laughs> you know, it was huge. So every time I try to do a video on signatures, it's got to be some kind of crap goes on. <laughs> okay, these are some big dang needles. What the heck? I can't even pick it up. Sorry, guys. I thought I would have this all ready. I can't even pick these suckers up. Okay, so for signatures, it's really nice to have a nice long needle, especially if your signatures are fat. And I'm going to talk about signatures in a second. But I got to get this needle going while I'm gabbing. Okay, so I landed on wax thread. Somebody sent me some. Nicole, my Jersey friend, sent me some wax thread, and I was like, oh, after all these months of struggling with what the heck do you use to sew in your signatures with omg i was about to freak out everything i was trying i didn't like i tried this you guys know this from the dollar store all the cutie patootie thread not happening it comes apart it breaks it frays the colors eh, it's not good not for sewing signatures it's good you know for little cutie patootie little things but not for this is serious business you know, <laughs> this is some serious thing here. Okay, so, um, I don't know. They say to use three times as much as what you got here. So, I'm just measuring three times. And that's good enough because I always have plenty. But I'm going to leave this on the end, I think, because I'm always just scared I'm going to pull it through, you know, when you're working. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, so here's the next thing. So here's the next thing I didn't do yet because I wanted to wait to show you. I'm going to move this for a second. Okay, so when you put all your papers together, you know, and you shut it, you don't want a bunch of stuff hanging out right here. Um, I mean, you can, you know, if you want like real shabby or whatever. But I don't like it. So what I do is, is you leave the larger pieces of paper on the outside and you get smaller and smaller and smaller as you go on the inside. That way you don't have to keep cutting, you know, and cutting and cutting. Because that's normally what I do is cut these that are hanging out, you know. And um, so our paper packs, you know, our design paper packs come in 12 by 12 sheets. And so we either have to cut every single sheet or we have to fold it in a way that where, you know, it can be in here and, you know, be the right size. And so, you know, I go through all kinds of dramatic things trying to figure out <laughs> a way to fold these so that I don't have to cut every single paper. So some of them I have folded up and just so we have a natural fold. Some of them I've folded into these cool little envelopey things. And then some of them, see here's another natural pocket. Some I left plain. This one's actually upside down. Okay. So that's the other thing. 
I have sewed my signatures in upside down before, so I am telling you, check and check again, because I you do things all the time to mess up. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't care if you think you got it right. You don't. No. <laughs> check it again. Okay. Because, you know, I've done that. So these, I don't even know what I'm doing with this. I folded this like this just because I'm thinking... You know, I can just have a tuck, obviously, this huge pocket like that. But I'm thinking, I got these saved on my Pinterest board. And it's a salt and pepper shaker, you know, and I got other shapes. I was thinking I could make, I don't know, some kind of shape flippy tag to flip up like this. So I'm going to leave this like this because I could get probably two. I mean, I don't know what kind yet, but we could do like milk cartons or we could do like canisters or just plain tag shapes too you know that flip up from here so i'm gonna leave that like that and then i got another natural pocket i just left it plain another natural pocket coffee stain and a couple of old couple of old book book pages well that's lame I thought I had like other stuff in here, but oh well. Too late now. Okay, so the main deal is you got to make sure everything's on the bottom. And then your small stuff, you got to scoot it up to the middle like this in the center. And then what I do is I use clips. I don't know what everybody else does, but I've watched so many videos now and now. Now I'm finally at the point where, you know, when you're new, you just don't know what's going on. But now I'm at the point where, like, I'm doing it on my own. Now I can't remember if I watched it or if, or if I just do it this way now, you know what I mean? Because I've made quite a few now, so I can't. I just do the clips. I don't know. Okay, now this is the point where some people, like, I'll show you. I don't know. I've seen this done so many ways. Really, let's just do it. I'm not even going to get it out. I was going to get the dictionary out. I mean, people do all this crap, but you don't have to do all that crap. Okay. The only problem I ever see is... The problem I always have is... is I always have all these issues. Oh. oh, okay. So the first thing is, sometimes when I first started out, I went through before I sew, uh, sewed and I folded every single page. But I notice on some of the paper that right here when you fold it all, it splits and breaks and does weird things that I don't like. So I stopped doing that, especially, I mean, it depends on the paper. You guys know. You guys know what I'm talking about. So I quit doing that because it does that. Okay, so, so you just do it, man. You just do it. This is the part I hate, though. Every time I do it, I mess it up. I hope I don't this time. <laughs> I hope I don't this time. Oh. It's very maddening. Okay, so this is just pamphlet stitch. And what did I do? About. So you want this to sit on the bottom of the book, so you got to just kind of figure out how this is going to work here. And my problem is my first stitch is going to miss my doily because it's way up here. Hmm. Don't know if I like that or not. See, so the holes I put in there weren't very well thought out. You see what happens? Because now the hole I marked way up here see see so you learn something every time I don't know what I was thinking but it's way up there I think let me look just to make sure yeah see I might just hit it so all the work I did with the hole isn't gonna work anyway so I want to make sure that this doily gets hit you know so it stays in so, I'm just going to go through and make sure I should, um,
make sure this goes through everything. Maybe I should have done that first. But in junk journaling, you just go with the flow, you know? You just have to, otherwise what are you going to do? And it's a process that's better off, you're just better off just to do it. Like, I don't care how many videos you watch. I'll see if I put it in the hole that I made, it's going to be way up there. <laughs> so I messed up royally. I bet those of you veterans that were watching me was like, what is she doing? Some of them might drive them nuts, I know, because I just, you just do it. And then eventually you learn. So see right now, I'm thankful I have the lines that I drew because I can set it here and look. And I'm right on the line. See, that's why it helps me because I always mess things up. <laughs> we'll see how far off I was. So now I'm just going to push it down because I'm not through that cardboard. I just want to mark the spot. So we'll see where I was. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. Look how far down it is. I was way up here. So, you know, you just got to play with it. I tried. I tried. Okay, we'll do it right there. That's where it wants to go. Okay, so that's the only part that's dumb is that I put that tack through here now, and now you have to make sure you get the same hole again. That's the thing I don't like about this. Because, you know, what if I move, you know? I mean, what are the odds you're going to hit the same hole again and again? But I did. went right through. Psh. Thank goodness. Every time I try to do a video, I have some weird thing happen. <laughs> so how I do it is I pull it through here first, through the paper first, and then I put it through the, um, the cover. But here's what I do. And of course, I forgot to get it. Now I'm looking for it. Darn it. Well, I use pliers. <laughs> I have weekends. I can't pull that needle through the dang. Oh, crap. Where's my tools? Oh, I know where they are on the dining room table. Dang it. Let me see if I can do it. If I can, I just got to go get it. You're just going to have to wait. Yeah, see, I can't do it. So I got to get my tools. Sorry. But I need a fire or something. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Dorking out. Okay. So this is just how I do it. I don't know how other people do it. <laughs> I don't see anyone else doing this. But, you know, I think if you went through one at a time like they do, I don't know. I really don't. I'm new, but I go through all of this. This is just how... <laughs> This is how I do it, you know what I mean? Okay. But, you know, I don't know. You do learn a lot watching somebody, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. Sometimes it's better off not to watch because <laughs> sometimes you're better off figuring it out yourself, you know what I mean? So now you can really only do this to the first one hole or maybe the second one, but the third one, you got to go straight through. You can't do it separate because there's no room. I've tried, believe me. There's no room. Okay. Okay. Now I'm leaving this because I don't want to pull it through. <laughs> so I think it's okay that I like that for right now. I don't think anything's wrong with that. So you just make three holes. Okay. Okay, so now we go. This is going to be so cool because on the spine, it's got General Mills. Isn't that going to be awesome? <laughs> 
I love it. Okay. Forget what you do now. I think I go right here. Up through there. And then I forget now. I haven't done this in so long. Oh my God. Forget now. I haven't done it in so long. It's not even the right spot. I'm supposed to do it in the middle first. Like a big dummy. That's the whole problem, Kelly. Shh. Try to teach him how to do signatures and I do it wrong instantly. <laughs> you guys are you guys screaming at me watching? <laughs> I bet you guys are screaming at me. <laughs> okay, who's screaming? You better leave me comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who realized what I was doing wrong first? It's like, how many things wrong can you do in one video? You know what I mean? I tried to do this earlier today. Okay, I gotta back up. Because this book has been... <laughs> this book has been, like, haunting me from the very beginning. Like, it's been sitting on my desk. You know how they do when you start something and then you have to set it down? You know what I mean? And you can't get back to it for the longest time and all the crap for it sitting there. You know, I made like all the pockets and all the crap ahead of time. Not all of them, but some, you know. And it's just sitting there and sitting there. It's like, and I can't get to it. And it just taunts you the whole time. So, I've been working on it a little, 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 little. And signatures are the worst part. <laughs> Look what I did already. So the first time I tried to do the video earlier on Facebook, it was so funny. I, um, I screwed up. You got to start in the middle. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm talking and I'm not paying attention. <laughs> so anyways, um, I tried to do a video earlier. <laughs> I was like trying to um, do the same thing, only that time I covered. I didn't cut my cover, and it, so it was, like, huge because it was that biscuit box. <laughs> and also, and I was all done, and I'm like, and I get on here, and I'm like, oh, my God, you guys. You know, my cover is too huge. I can't do this video right now. What am I doing? So I'm like, this is stupid. You know, I was all mad. <laughs> well, not real mad, you know, but I'm just saying for dramatically fun sakes. But anyways... <laughs> Anyways, so I left, and I was, like, on for just a few minutes or whatever, and I was like, oh, my God, you know. So, um, so I got done, and I had to cut my, cut my cover, and so, you know, sew it, and then my husband wanted to eat, and I'll scrap. So I'm like, okay, so I'll just do it in a minute. So now my second try, I come on, and I try to do a signature. So... And I do the wrong. I wonder I was confused. I'm like, wait, I, this ain't the way. <laughs> I don't know what hole to go in now. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a dork. I wish one time I could come and do a regular video, but just don't happen for me. Sorry. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. Okay, there. We did it in the middle. Like a normal human, right? I don't know why and what the big deal is. Like, why can't I just use my sewing machine and sew down it and be done? Why do I have to go through this? Someone please tell me who wrote the rule book on all this crap. Because I don't like it. Because <laughs> I don't like it. I still don't like it. And I've been doing it for months. Although, this is better. <laughs> This is better than it used to be. The first time I did a signature video, I think I, named, I think I named it some epic adventure, whatever. I don't know. You can go look, but it was really funny. I kept screwing up, and I had to stop, and I was swearing, and I had to stop like three times or something. It was so funny. It was so funny. Oh my god! Not that this one's going any better. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You know, I thought I really could teach you how to do this, but I guess I can't. <laughs> I guess I can't. I don't know. What the heck? Okay, so. Down to the middle. Okay? <laughs> so stupid. Down through the middle. Okay? 
No problem. -o. And then it don't matter. You can pick the top or bottom. I don't know what I was doing. You know, I was just freaking out because I was talking. I get to talking and then, you know, just forget it. <laughs> okay, but now that I did all that, I don't know if the hole is in the right spot, but we'll see. We'll see what kind of fun I can have with the next hole. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull it up through here first because I can't. I don't like to do it at the same time and I can't. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I picked the top. So I'm going to go through the top. And again, hopefully, you know, what are the odds that I'm going to get to the same hole that I did the first time? They aren't very good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so you end up with you know, holes, pokey holes, trying to find the hole. And this is the part I hate because, you know, this is what I go through. I don't know what you guys, how do you guys do it, but psh, this is some sick, <laughs> this is a sick way to do things. Let me tell you what. I don't like it one bit. <laughs> and if it was up to me, you know, whoever thought of this, of course, you know, kids do it, but. <laughs> But to me, I don't know. I just, okay, so now I got to go back through every little page and find out where my needle is. Because it's not coming through. Oh, baby. Well, it didn't get very far. <laughs> That's a good thing. Okay, here it is. So I'm using design paper. And if I use any coffee stain paper in this, I'm using lots of design paper here. I don't barely have, I don't think I barely have any coffee stain here. But if I do, I use 24 pound because I go through all this kind of dilemmas. And the regular cheap copy paper, especially if you coffee stain it now, it rips so easy. You can barely, you know, touch it. And it rips. Oh, I did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I have five signatures. So this is like very, you know, stressful. By the time I get done, oh, I could never do five signatures in one night, I don't think. You know what I mean? Unless it goes really easy and I don't have any issues. But I already had issues. This took me all day long to get this cover sewed and glued. And, you know, of course I have all this other crap going on, but I'm just saying but I'm just saying. Now I'm just checking, you know, underneath to make sure everything's nice and normal. Nothing's happening weird. Okay, now. Now you skip the middle and go down here. See? Now you go to the bottom right away. And. Need my tack, I guess. I haven't poked any hole in here yet. Oh, boy. You know, so I'll just do it right here, about right here, about, and hope that really I am just hoping. Maybe I better do it again, <laughs> so it's more of a, <laughs> you know what I mean, more of an educated guess and a hope. We'll see how it works out. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, we'll try it out. <clears throat> and I'll probably have to make a new, I'll probably have to make a new, yeah, that's way the heck over there. I need to, this needs to be right here. Okay. Oh, it's hard to get through sometimes, you know. There we go. Okay. But. You know, I pre-did the bottom ones, and I did them wrong, of course, remember? So now I don't have a hole in here. But if I would have done it right to begin with, this would be a lot easier. Would be a lot easier. But I didn't. So I got to make sure these are tight so I know where the hole is going to go. And thankfully, I have the lines that I drew myself. That works really good. And then I can push this through. Okay. Now. Yeah. 
Now you go down. Right? Trying to get through the same one like I said earlier before. It's just what you gotta do. Every time. Well, there, that went down good. Sometimes they snag, which is highly annoying. Okay, so now is the time where you can't really like keep it separate anymore. You gotta go down at the same time. Okay, epic adventure. I don't have such weak hands, so I have to pull it through with the danged with the danged players. And now I'm going through paper and the cover because I can't. There's no room to, and I'm telling you, I love this wax thread. It's the best thing. It's the best thing, really. It doesn't snag, and it's really strong, and I haven't had any problems with it, which is amazing for me. Oh, my God, you guys, this is so funny. You have to leave a comment and tell me if you were screaming at me the whole time. I was <laughs> the whole time. The whole time I was doing the wrong hole. That's so funny. Okay, so now we just come up through the bottom, through the middle. See? See? The trick with this part is, this is dumb too. Because you don't want to get your needle in your line that you already have. Because then it splits your thread and stuff, so kind of stinks because I always get the needle right in the middle of the thread and then it splits and I gotta go through all this see free roll kind of thing I'm doing right now <laughs> I don't like the last one and then when you get other signatures in here too you know on top of it it's like oh my god I don't know how you guys do it and make all these fancy stitches and everything I really don't someday I will learn how to to do it like pretty because <laughs> some of them they really do so good you know and yeah I gotta take these clips off because I can't see nothing but there's lots of different stitches you can do and you just look it up on YouTube you know there's a whole bunch of different but this is just the pamphlet stitch screwed up style <laughs> No. <laughs> if I wasn't, if I was just making a simple little thing, it'd be all right. But, you know, I got to put doilies and all this crap in it. But I don't know. I've seen lots of people do these with doilies, and they don't go through all this. But, you know, but whatever. i seen, I watched, I'm a cool mom. You know, but I don't know what if she was making them. If she was just doing it for video purposes, but... It was great. After I watched her, I was like, okay, I'm just going to do it. Because you know how her videos are. She just gets to it, man. She don't mess around, which I like. So after I seen her, she's just like, boom, 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 and just do it. So I was like, yes. I'm going to go just do it. And get it over with. Well, I did. <laughs> you know. Okay, so that's it. Well, not quite. You got to, I'll show you. You gotta tighten everything up and make sure it's all good and tight and stuff. And then, okay, now I gotta cut this. Okay, I switched scissors. Now I don't know what the heck to look for for the color. You know what I'm saying? I got too much crap on my desk. I used to look for red scissors, but now they're not red anymore. Okay, so just make sure everything's. See how it's kind of loose like that? So I gotta just. tighten it up but I pulled and so what happened is because I put my needle through the thread oh I hate that I hate that when I do that here we go there we go I think I got it yep okay okay so now cut this off see I had all that left over I wasted I hate that and then you want one of your strings on one side of the main string and one on the other side so you can tie. 
And then you can put the little cutie patooties on the end if you want. I don't know. I don't have the time. I don't know. My books are so decorated. Oh, my God. All right. Okay, so, I mean, it's all on the line and everything. So there's one. And, you know, I got four more, so it's just like, holy cow. So when you start getting a whole bunch of them in here, and they're all lined up, then it gets really tough because, you because you know, they're all lined up on each other. And, oh, my God. So anyways, um, I mean, could I do one more? Let's see. Or are you over it? You know, because, you know, the first one sucked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe I could do another one that would be better. But I'm trying to do short videos now because y'all are hating that I do long videos. But guess what? I'm not doing those anymore. I'm not doing the just junking on YouTube anymore. I'm doing them on my Facebook page for my group. Not doing group hangout on YouTube anymore. I'm just going to do my tutorials like a normal human. <laughs> okay, you want to try another one? See if we can do this one any better. I don't know if I can. I'll try. <laughs> this one's got pot holders in it. Oh, my God. I don't know if I can do it on camera. I don't know if I can make it, you know. <laughs> I try really hard. This one's got more stuff in it. And you got to make sure everything's, see this one's upside down too, unless I had it upside down to begin with. And then the fabric, eh, I don't know. You can put it right here, I guess. Okay, and then I have a pot holder that goes in the middle. An old pot holder. I'm trying to get this. Now, I don't decorate any of my pages before I sew them in. If you want sewing on the edge or whatever, do it now. Before you sew them in. But I don't do that. I fake sew it on the edge. If I want to put lace or something that looks sewn on the edge, I just sew it on my machine and then glue it on so it looks like I sewed it on there. Wah, wah, wah. I don't have to mark, fry around with it right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cheating. Totally cheating. But I ain't trying to sew all my pages. I don't know what I'm going to do with my pages right now at this point. I don't know how y'all pre-decorate your pages and then put them in. I just don't even know. But, you know, everybody does it different. I don't know. But I can't live with that. That's all I know. I can't sew these in with a bunch of crap in it. I can barely sew them in the way it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. So, we go down through the middle this time. Not the top, for Pete's sake. So I don't even know what I was thinking. And then this one. Oh, look. I'm glad I looked. I have that upside down too. I think I had the whole thing upside down. Turning all these papers. Holy buckets. Okay. I'm going to put it through the middle of this. The middle of the pot holder. is going to be okay. <laughs> Listen to how I talk myself. It's going to be okay, Kelly. You can do it. You can just sew it if you want to. Okay, I'm pushing it through. This ain't going to be any big deal, and I'm just going to do it, right? Okay, here I go. But first things first, I clip the end of this so I don't pull it through because you know I've done that after you go through all this and then you pull it through 
Oh, I could ball my eyes out. <laughs> I couldn't stand if that happened. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, down through the middle. All right, guys. Down through the middle. This is going to be so cool, though, when I get done with all this junk. I hate this part. Because this is cool. Um, vintage flower sack. I think that's neat. I think that's really neat. You know, for the cover. Okay, down through the middle. Just looking, just looking, just making sure. I don't know, this is looking weird. <laughs> like, I gotta show you. Or maybe it's just me. No. It's a little something funny with this. See how now when I do this, it's going crooked? It's a little bit loose now after I sewed it, so I'm going to have to tighten it up. Look. See? See? And I thought I had it all nice and good. You know what I mean? Okay, so now I'm going to go up through the top. I thought I had it all good. But every time I think I have it good, I don't. This is why... Signature stink. <laughs> this is why I don't like them at all. But lots of people do this and it's not any big deal. So, so I know if all these people can do it. Without having all these dilemmas. Someday, I know that I will too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Someday. And this is after seven months of doing it. So I'm just saying, don't even be discouraged because look, you know, it. I mean, it gets better, but I don't know. Y'all, it ain't much better. <laughs> you know what I mean? But honestly, I haven't done this in a little while because I've been so friggin' busy. And, if, you know, if you don't do it, you forget. So it took, takes me a minute to remember what the heck's going on, you know? What the heck is going on? Can't pull it up either. My hands are too weak. Ooh, there. Okay, up to the top. Cool, cool. Okay. And then down through the bottom. See, it's not really that big of a deal, but it's kind of a big deal, you know what I mean? Kind of is a big deal, but kind of not. Kind of is. <laughs> you know, it's epic adventure, I'm telling you. I hate doing it right now. I just don't even want to be doing it. I just want to decorate pages. That's the fun part. All scrap I can do without. Because, you know, just to get to this point is a lot of work. This, just doing all this. You know, getting your paper all ready and all that junk. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had no idea what I was getting myself into when I started this junk journaling thing. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. It's really fun though. But I swear it keeps me up at night. <laughs> I can't sleep because I either, you know, have all these ideas or, or you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm thinking about these dang books. And these dang tags, you know, or whatever the heck I'm doing at the time. 
Okay, and then you go up through the middle. Then that's two signatures, and I'm not gonna film anymore because you know this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> I don't like this part going up through the last, you know, because it never works right for me. It always gets stuck, and like I said last time, so we'll see where it's at here. Here it is. Here it is, somewhere in La La Land where it's not supposed to be, you know. So sometimes you got to go one by one. To show it where to go. Although, I wish it would just know <laughs> and just go there so I didn't have to do all this. Can you tell I don't like this tedious work? Although, I don't mind parts of it, but I think the signatures are my worst. I'm saying I hate the worst, you know? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Up through the middle. I can pull it. It's pretty hard. There we go. Okay, now you just pull your strings tight. As good as you can, you know. Flop it around, look at it. You know, make sure it's all good. And if you screw up like I do, you got to just undo it, you know, re-tighten them up again, you know what I mean? So you kind of got to just, this is the slow part, you know, that's just how it is. So let me see now if I got it right. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Okay. Let's see? Oh boy. This is going to be a big book. Look at this. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> Stay tuned, right? <laughs> Bye.